Across the country, they sprout up from farmlands. Ranches and hillsides. Turbines sleek and majestic. They harvest a new crop, wind energy. The story of wind power is an American success story, a testament to our country's innovative spirit. And leading the way, Next Era Energy Resources, a company that's taken wind to a new level. A generating capacity now exceeding 10,000 megawatts of clean, homegrown electricity. That's enough to power the city of Chicago, more than any company in North America. But wind wasn't always part of Next Era Energy's future. Around the turn of the century, the company had a few wind projects in operation, but the program was nearly dismantled until one man's vision helped take the company on an amazing journey. Well, we had a whole host of challenges. Um, one of the bigger ones was just how the rest of uh, the market, the investors reacted to our decision to develop wind. They just didn't get it, they didn't understand it. Uh, the rest of the players in the industry were off building uh, gas turbines and things of that sort. We were the only one that was developing wind. His company's employees had decades of experience in operating power plants. Know how they would adapt to make a bold move into this emerging industry. And lo and behold, we found out that we actually were pretty good at operating these things and taking the skills that we had developed elsewhere in the company in terms of operations and applying it to wind, uh, we were able to turn these operations around and they were actually fairly profitable. Oh God, that looks like dad's crew when they used to go hunting in Nevada. The company's move to win may very well have saved ranchers Wade and Hugh Walker from the financial brink. The brothers grew up in Livermore, California, a small town about an hour or so east of San Francisco. They owned and worked cattle ranches for more than 30 years. Hugh handled the business, Ward works the ranch. Come on! Well, the price of the feed went sky high and we lost well over $200,000. Interest rates were in the 20 percents. So when you got a debt like that, it doesn't take long to grow and the debt got up to a million bucks. When the ranching business could no longer pay the bills, the walkers seized on an opportunity, a new way to make money from their land. It seemed like a fantastic idea to convert this wind energy that we've been cussing at all our lives, to have that become uh, an asset that would produce income would just seem like a marvelous idea. The brothers now host hundreds of Next Era energy turbines on their land. Over the years, they've watched the technologies change the early turbines replaced by taller, more efficient ones. And for their family, a steady income. It provides a tremendous source of income for my brother, two sisters, and I. Um, all of us rely on that income very heavily. Um, I don't know what else to say. It has basically saved us. Over the course of a decade, Next Era Energy would invest more than $16 billion to develop wind power. The company's wind holdings extend across 19 states and Canada and includes more than 9,600 wind turbines. Joe Marquise has had a hand in building most of them including this site in Ontario, Canada. What it takes to come to a remote location like this and build a wind farm, the best way to describe it is like a pioneer. It takes what I call a real pioneering spirit. You go you cast in the middle of nowhere and you got to create something out of nothing. The speed at which we build these is difficult to comprehend. I tell everybody, we're going to build a $200 million wind farm quicker than you build a house.
Scaling the business to this size wasn't easy. The newness of it was the biggest challenge. Uh, getting the projects financed, it was a new thing to bring to the banks to actually have them finance wind. They'd never done that before. Why are you getting into the wind business? Nobody else is getting into the wind business. Uh, you guys are crazy. Uh, we faced challenges from rating agencies that didn't understand how the, how the business uh, would work. And then there were the, all of the logistical problems that you might imagine. One of the problem solvers, avid kiteboarder Conrad Flemk. He helps NextEra Energy navigate one of the biggest challenges in its wind business. I sail as a kid and I kite surf now. Um, you gotta have the wind. The wind is so important. It's, I follow the wind every day. Every day I look at the wind forecast. His team builds the vast infrastructure of transmission lines that connect remote wind farms with the customers who use their energy, often hundreds of miles away. Next era it really is doing the right thing and continue to develop and, and build wind farms uh, wherever feasible. It's, it's really rewarding just to see how we can harvest the energy uh, from the nature, um, how it benefits future generations. The economic benefits of wind power are growing. The industry has spawned 37,000 manufacturing jobs and opened new opportunities for people like Pedro Pereira. Raised in Southern California, Pereira happily followed an opportunity that would move him to the heart of coal country. He now manages a wind site in Myersdale, Pennsylvania, where he's built a career. It gives me a purpose, a future. I work for a great company, and uh, we're doing great things. Not only is it, you know, of course it's a job, but also you're not only, you know, I'm not working only for myself, but it's also working towards the future, you know, towards preserving the earth. And then there's Josie Wallace. Raised an Iowa farm girl, now she's a working mom and a business services leader for NextEra Energy. Helping to improve the economic landscape of the Midwest by educating others on the value of farming wind. I know from talking with neighbors and you know the farmers that we're in a true partnership with them. I enjoy what I do and I'm proud to be part of this company. Um, it's provided a, you know, a good career for me and a good foundation and I wouldn't want to change. The journey to 10,000 megawatts was charted by thousands of employees at NextEra Energy, all focusing their talents on a single goal, continuous improvement. We added expertise in terms of wind resource analysis. We added expertise in terms of construction, in terms of development, in terms of land acquisition, origination, and commercial skills, and going out and getting wind power purchase agreements with customers. Wind power produced by NextEra Energy is already benefiting customers of Excel Energy. In Colorado alone, we have 2,200 uh, megawatts by the end of this year and next era will provide close to half of that. I think wind power is terrific. It not only provides the clean, low-cost energy that we're looking for in this country, but it also provides terrific economic benefit for the, the states and cities and counties that it's located in. 
To enhance operations, the company developed this fleet performance and diagnostic center at its Florida headquarters. A kind of nerve center where engineers use cutting edge technology to control thousands of wind turbines across the country. They can yeah, diagnose a problem with a turbine often before technicians on the ground. You've got to be proud of an employee base, a corporate culture that allows you to do something different, something nobody else is doing, something you believe in, and then obviously succeeding in it. So next time that you go up and you're staring at that wind turbine in the sky and you see it spinning and you say, wow, well, that's a beautiful sight. We're producing a lot of clean energy. You gotta think about all of the folks that have been behind the scenes, behind the lines, making sure that it was a successful project uh, before you saw it. And the journey doesn't end here. The same next era energy employees who helped the company achieve this milestone who developed more efficient and cost-effective ways to deliver wind power, will no doubt continue to push the industry to new heights. We've had a long history of doing well by doing good in this, in this company, and I think all of the folks in the wind team really understand that not only are they delivering great projects that are to give our customers great value, they're doing the right thing by the environment, and uh, they're also doing the right thing by our shareholders. There will be more wind built in the United States. There will be more wind built in Canada. We will build more wind, but I think what every employee should know, what every contractor should know is, we love this business. It's an economic business. We've built it from the ground up. We will build more wind. Yeah.